Yeah, the Shivali of a shadow of death, or the darkest valley, pointing at one thing, I will fear no evil. Because you're with me. You're with me, and you're being with me. Your rod and your staff, they come from me. Now then, two fundamental forms of safeguarding that human beings need. And the first is the protection from external threats, isn't it? That's the one we acknowledge, that's the one we recognise, that's the one we work with. The club. The ancient Near East, Eastern, not, not a soccer club or anything. Um, you know, a club club, a proper club, big lump of stuff you hit people with. That sort of club. The ancient Near Eastern Shepherd had a club with him. David's words to the leaders of the armies of Israel as he set out to defeat Goliath referred to his having gone out in defence of his father's flocks against the lion and the bear, yeah? With just his lightweight weapons. Where you've got to physically do stuff to something to make it happen. So here the psalmist pictures himself as a sheep entering the darkest of remote valleys, in the fastnesses of the remotest hill country, as a vulnerable sheep, but doing so with confidence because of the shepherd and his club which he's going to wield doggedly to protect his flock from external threat. So there's the first thing. The first thing, he's got a club to protect from external threats, but then he's got a crook. Caleb, what's a crook for? Uh, to catch sheep. When they are? Running away. That's it. So he's got the crook to protect the sheep very often from itself. The crook is a thing that is of no use at all against external predators, but is extremely effective in countering the sheep's absolute determination on self-destruction. They want to die, a lot of them, I've got to say. It's the come back here implement. It's the come out of that ditch. It's the let me lift you off that ledge or over that bush implement, isn't it? get you out of there. And this valley that NIV translates as the darkest valley, that's the non, that, that, that is the literal trans, the translation of the Hebrew Tzalmawet, which literally refers to the ultimate dark valley humans experience. Okay? So it's that expression which gets used to describe the valley of the shadow of death, the darkest of human experiences, the darkest valley we go through. It's the dark valley. You know? Particularly, instead of saying death, which sounds horrible. And you want to say it. You want to go there. Ooh, to pull up for that. The darkest valley. It's like, passed away, isn't it? It didn't. <laughs> but we say it, and that's a circumlocution that helps us. Derek Kidner, in his little commentary, makes a revealing observation on that. We've, we've dealt with that expression already. Derek Kidner says, only the Lord can lead a man through death. Now, hang on a minute. Let's get this straight. Only the Lord can lead a man through death. All other guides turn back. And the traveller must go on alone. Not so the shepherd. Who we now know far better than the psalmist did. As being a safe pair of hands in that direction. Even there, says the psalmist, even there where the club protects and the crook rescues the Lord's people, my security needs are satisfied. I'll walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'll fear no evil. For you're with me. Your rod, external predators, your staff, oh, rescue me from myself. Go with me. And we were, we were talking about, we had a girl in the yard in the week, we were, we were talking about some of the people I've known over the years who have come from a non-Christian background perhaps, or even just a church background and rejected it and whatever, who over the years have actually become Christians. And because of who I am, what I do and all the rest of it, I've been privileged to be there as they passed into glory. And you just see how God preserves his people through the valley of the shadow. There's no, there's no way of putting words to describe it. Except things like stupid things like you know, like a ship in full sail, kind of thing. and the most the most nervous disposition becomes transformed because the rod and the staff are there, and they're being guided through the valley of the shadow of death. God's people persevere, and God's people persevere because God preserves His people. He's their shepherd. Does this give point to the things we exist for as a church? 
Isn't this where the chips come down? This is what we're for. We're to introduce people to the shepherd who takes them through the darkest of valleys that they will ever experience. And does so gloriously. Mm -hmm.